Hello everyone, it's Tracy. Welcome back to my channel. Thanks very much for joining me. Today I'm doing the assembly tutorial for the record player card. At the end of this tutorial I do have a bonus project share. It is what I made with this card made during the assembly tutorial. This project has been designed by Nicole Silhouette here on YouTube and I shall link her YouTube channel in the description box below. The record player card is available as a cutting die set and you can get that from Becky's store. And I shall put the link in the description box below. So I have all my pieces cut out and we'll get started. To begin with I'm going to talk very briefly about a couple of the design elements for this project. You can see also that I've got my designer paper layers here cut from a marble cardstock. So the elements I've got here I've already gone ahead and assembled them. First up we have the needle arm here. And you can see that's made up of some circles and the needle arm and I've gone ahead and assembled and put a double-sided foam in between to give it a bit of dimension. This is like the equaliser bar, that's what I'm going to call it. And these are the two buttons. So I've gone ahead and already assembled those. And I'm going to put this with the designer paper layers to the side for the time being. These pieces here on the right make up the inner drawer. We'll work on that a bit later. But first up we'll make the card and these are the pieces that you'll need. There are these two narrow rectangles that have glue tabs on each side and you can see I've folded and put double-sided tape along the glue tabs. Next up we have these two rectangles. They are both the same size. And next we have this piece here which has a glue tab on one side which is the lid that opens and closes and I've put double-sided tape on the underneath side of the tab. Next up we have the pocket that goes on the inside of the lid to hold the record. And I've gone ahead and put double-sided tape on the tabs. I'll put that to the side for the time being because we'll put that in later. And I'll put the lid to the side as well. So what we should have now are the two larger rectangles and the two narrow rectangles. I'm going to remove the backings from one of the narrow rectangles. And I'm going to join one of the larger rectangles to the narrow rectangle like so taking care to line it up as precisely as I can. You will need to be precise with this part because what we're making here is the shell for the drawer to slide in and out of. And I'm going to join the other rectangle to the other side of the narrow rectangle. And then I'm going to remove the backings from the other narrow rectangle. And join it to the large rectangle taking care to line it up as precisely as I can and then press it into place. When I turn it over you can see that this is taking shape and I'm going to fold it down and join this whole piece together. I just found it easier to keep it flat and fold it in and when you're finished you'll have a shape like this. Next up I'll take the lid piece and remove the backing off the adhesive and I'm going to stick it to one of the sides on the outside. It does not matter which side you put it on. So I'm just taking care here to line it up and press it down into place. So you can see it's taking shape. And it will fold down flat as a card to go in an envelope the way it is now. That's without the drawer. So I'm just making sure everything's in place and sitting nicely. So next up I'm going to work on the drawer that goes inside and I'll go through those pieces now. So we have two pieces that look like this. These are the short end and they have tabs on each end and one side and a larger tab on the left side, which I've put double-sided tape on the underneath side. Then we have these two long side pieces with a glue tab on this side and a larger tab on the left, which has tape on the underneath side. Then we have these two rectangle pieces and one is smaller than the other, it's the liner. So I'll put that to the side and work on the base piece, the larger rectangle. So I've got one of the side rectangles here, the long side, and I'm going to join it to that base rectangle piece, taking care to line it up and be as precise as I can. And 
and just pressing that into place. I'll do the same on the opposite side. Just getting that into position before pressing it down. Then I'll work on the shorter sides of the drawer and put those into place. And I'm mainly working here with the right side of the cardstock facing the camera. Just getting that opposite side in place, lining it up as precisely as I can. And pressing it down. So when you turn it over, it looks like this. It's now time to join the corners together. So I'm going to remove the backings off the tape and join the corner like so. And I'm going to do that on all four corners. And you can see our drawer now starting to take shape. And you can see those top larger glue tabs, they will get folded in. And it will give the sides of the drawer some added strength. So I'm just going to fold them outwards so I have better access to remove the backings off the adhesive. I'm going to do now and I'm going to do the long side first on both sides because that will cover the glue tabs of the corners that we just joined giving it all strength so just folding it down pressing it well so it gets a good stick and I'll do the same on the opposite side making sure that that tape gets a good hold then I'll go over to the short end and do the same thing Just pressing it down, making sure everything's nice and straight. And then this liner piece goes inside and that covers the glue tabs from where we joined the sides onto the main base rectangle piece. So I'm going to go ahead and use glue to stick that into place. And using glue here gives you that wriggle room to be able to line it up nicely. press it down into place and there we have our little drawer that you can put inside the card base that we just made previously and that goes in like so and it slides in and out nicely so you can really see now our record player is taking shape we just need to decorate it now So I'm going to take the drawer out and you can see the drawer is optional. It's nice to have it if you want a three dimensional project, but if you want to send it as a card in the mail, then you would leave it out if you wanted to. So I've got my decorator layers here and all my design elements, and I'm going to start decorating my record player. Just getting all my pieces organized. The rounded corner one I'm putting to the side, that's for the pocket. These are for the sides, and this is for the front and back of the lid. So I'm going to take the drawer out and put the designer paper layers just on the short ends, because they're the sides that you will see. And I'm going to use glue to put all my designer paper layers into place. So as you can see, it's not a very difficult project to put together. And the drawer is optional. Like I said, if you wanted to post it, you would leave the drawer out. And if you were going to give it in person, you would put the drawer in. Or you could post it with the drawer as well. You just put it in a posting box instead of an envelope. Having the drawer in the actual card does actually add to how nice this project turns out. So I'm going to put the decorator layers on the actual record player part. Just working out where things are going to go. But first I'm going to put these designer paper layers on the short sides there or the narrow sides and the designer paper layer here will actually cover where we joined the lid on so I'll just get some glue on that and put it in place 
and that covers it nicely. Just pressing it down, I'll do the opposite side. that in place. Then I'm going to put the designer paper layers on the front and back side of the lid, which are these larger panels. Just getting the glue on. And as I said before, I'm using a marble patterned paper. And this record player is going to be the birthday card for my daughter. Her 17th birthday is coming up. And this is what she said she wanted for a card. It is going to be part of a three-dimensional project that I'm putting together for her. And you will see that at the end of this tutorial. So make sure you stay tuned. I will also be showing you a male version that I've done. I made it for my dad for his recent birthday. He does already have it. So unfortunately, I'll only have pictures here to show you. But you'll get the idea. So that's the decorator layers on both sides of the lid. This rounded corner piece goes here, so I'll get that glued down. And put that into place. That's where the glue sometimes can be a little bit messy, but that's okay. Just press that all down. And that's our decorator layers mostly on. It's time now to get the pocket sorted. So I'll glue the designer paper panel in place. And it's time to put this pocket onto the inside of the lid. You will need to make sure that when you stick this into place, that you are leaving enough room for whatever you want to put into the pocket so that it doesn't poke out the top. So I'm just checking that with mine. Then I'm going to remove the backings off the adhesive and stick the pocket in place on the inside of the lid. I'm going right down as far as I can and pressing it down. And just checking to make sure also that I haven't gone too far down so that my lid doesn't close. So I'm just checking with the item that I'm going to put in, it's not going to appear at the top and things are folding down nicely without anything getting caught. So now I'm going to finish decorating and you can see I've got a record here and this is from Nicole's exclusive die set which is not available anymore but you could make a record quite easily with a circle nesting die set and this particular record size is five inches so if you had a five inch circle die you could make a record. The lines would be a little bit more trickier to do on the record you could do it with an embossing tool or circle dies again and you can see that I've popped this record up onto some black foam dots and I'm going to stick it in place on the record player. I die cut the record from gloss black cardstock and that really adds to the realistic look of the record. So I'm just sticking that down into place and next I'm going to put the needle arm in place and I'm going to pop that up on some black foam dots as well. It just adds dimension and helps with the realistic look. I'm just popping that into place. And pressing it down. Then I'm going to glue down the equaliser bar and get that into position. Just using glue here. You could pop that up as well if you wanted to, as well as the other little buttons. It's entirely up to you. I'm just taking care here to put it into position nicely. And then I'm going to put the little buttons in place. Just a little dab of glue on the back. And put them into place. Just 
is wiping the glue off the silver mirror cardstock. So that's our record player pretty well done, the record player card. And the draw goes in. And this is where my draw decided to give me grief. And I'm fiddling around here trying to get the draw in. Didn't do it to me when I was off camera. No, only when I'm on camera. It won't do it to you when you make yours. It was just doing it to me to be difficult. So I eventually get it in. And I left this in so that you can see that sometimes things don't always go to plan for me either. I just have the beauty of editing. But things don't always run perfectly for me sometimes. And it's nice to be able to have a laugh at myself. So there's our record player. Now this is as far as I'm going to go showing you with this one. But you get how to put it together. So I've done the assembly tutorial for you. And I'll show you the finished one of this one a little bit later on towards the end. But now I'd like to show you the one I made for my dad for his recent birthday. As I said before, he already has the card, so I only have pictures for you to see. But it's decorated in a very masculine way. I did the front like so. So I've used a wood grain card. And I put two records in for Dad. Dad's favourite group is the Rolling Stones, and I put a couple of his favourite songs on the centre of the records there. And I made the matching record sleeves to go with those records and put them in the drawer. And Dad really loves this card. It's a pride of place at Mum and Dad's house. So I'll move on now and show you the completed project from the assembly tutorial, which is my daughter's birthday card. So I have it here, and you can see that I've decorated the front of it, or the lid, with happy birthday and flowers. And you're just getting a glimpse there at the side of the drawers. And you can see I've added an extra two drawers to the bottom of the existing project from the assembly tutorial. It's not that difficult to do. You just cut out another two drawers and another two sleeves. And the sleeves is that part without the lid piece. And on the bottom there, you can see I've put some pearl beads as feet. So I'm just giving you a good look all the way around. And then we open it and here's our record player. Now this is for my daughter, so it's got her name on it, the age that she'll be turning on that top record. And there's a photo of her in the centre of the other record. Now I covered up that hole because it was right where her eye was and I didn't want her to have no eye. So I've left it without a centre hole. And I love the way this has turned out. I've used silver mirror cardstock for her name and her age. And the happy birthday on the front of the card, which ties in with the design elements on the record player. I've gone ahead also and put magnets in the corner of the record player and the lid. And that will create a magnetic closure. So in case she doesn't want to have it open all the time, she can close it down and it won't be just flopping there. Got the marble panel there on the front and the back. I've left the back plain. So now it's time to talk a little bit more about the drawers or show you the drawers. I'll start with the bottom drawer and I've got the record sleeves in there as well. Now these sleeves are from Nicole's exclusive die set that the record came with. This die set is no longer available, but you could easily make one of these sleeves with a square die and a round circle die. It wouldn't be that terribly hard to make. In the second drawer, I've got another empty sleeve, and that's to correspond with the two records that are in the record player. And the top drawer has a sleeve in it with a record. So just a reminder that Nicole's exclusive die set for the record and the sleeve is no longer available. So you, I can't put a link or anything for you. So 
So I'm just going to show you the inside with the drawers removed and you can see that that's the sleeves. So the top one is the actual base that we made at the beginning of the tutorial. And then I've made another two to attach to the bottom. I've put an extra strengthening piece on the base and also the two sides just to give the whole thing a bit more strength. So it's just an added piece of cardstock cut to size and glued on. And you would put the draw together, the drawers, sorry, together in exactly the same way that I showed you in the tutorial earlier, and also the sleeves. The only thing different with the sleeves is it does not have a lid attached on the bottom two drawers. And I've gone ahead and put a draw pull on each of the drawers so we can open and close. Just showing you again the record with the sleeve, it fits inside, and the empty sleeves. And I'm going to mention again, the record and the record sleeve are not part of this die set. It was an exclusive separate die set from Nicole that is no longer available. So the record and the record sleeve is not part of the die set for this record player card. So I'm just showing you again a look all the way around. And I love the way the light bounces off those records because of the gloss black cardstock. If you can get your hands on some, it's great for the records. So that's my tutorial finished for today. I hope you've enjoyed watching and that you feel inspired to make a record player card, either in the way that it's intended or in the way that I've shown here that has three drawers. Don't forget to check the description box down below for the links that I have previously mentioned. And if you'd like to subscribe to my YouTube channel, I would really love that too. Thanks very much for watching today. Have a great day and until next time, it's bye for now.